Okay, we've got the USB hard drive uh, hooked up. We've got the uh, boot CD that I made that uh, it's going to boot up from from that. <clears throat> well, what I'm going to show you what uh, here is that let's say that you just got your computer back from uh, from Geek Squad or whoever had to fix it for your last time, and you're a little light in the wallet, and you're really pissed off at this point, and you want <laughs> you don't ever want to go through that experience again. Um, this is what you need to do before you really start get before you start jacking it up. You get on the internet, you start pulling in, you know, worms or whatever got you messed up to begin with. First thing you want to do is you want to make a an image or a clone of uh, the system just the way it is, uh, and uh, you'll have that as a base uh, as a base image to be able to go back on. I'll explain that to you a little bit more. Uh, if depend on if you got your email all configured and all your you know any documents back on for you or if you've got those somewhere else the main thing is is when you first get they first put it in your hands make an image of that because if you screw it up uh, whatever that you end up doing after you get it back from them uh, you'll really regret not having made an image of it you can always make more than one image after that you uh, get your uh, email configured different things like that all going uh, you can go back and you can make another image where it's configured and at different stages and you can save however many images that you want and you just want to uh, kind of indicate either by the folder that you save it in or the name of the actual image file what it is you could say base image fresh image uh, you know and you know go configured you know I, you know, there's a million different ways just as long as you remember what it is. And you can also tell by the date of the file which was the newer uh, image because it, do, it does date it, providing that your, um, that your uh, computer clock is, is correct and you, you ain't had any uh, going back to uh, default dates or anything like January 1st, 1980 or something. So we're just letting this thing come up now. Once we get over into Ghost, we're going to uh, uh, send an image to the hard drive. I'm going to show you how to create a folder over there, a new folder over there onto the external hard drive. And we'll just be able to tell a little easier once it gets here. I knew I should have went down and got a beer before I started this. There's our blue screen and scallywag and drumstick to get her network message. Now if you did have this set up on a network and you knew how to go through this, I put down the time to go through that, uh, you could select to go to the network, um, uh, map to a network drive and actually save that away, but that's getting a little bit more complicated here. Okay, we go go, programs, Semantic goes, go to the one at the top, goes 32. Click OK. Local disk to image. Hit enter. Okay, it's highlighted the one we want already, which is that smaller. It's the 40 gig in this, so we know that uh, we know that that's the uh, of the hard drive that's on this laptop here. Click OK. Then, it for whatever reason it automatically went to that. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes it may have it may show something different. Uh, may come up, but it is that hard drive right there. And we're gonna go since this is Keisha's computer and this is her. We'll just put a uh, 
new folder and we're just going to call it fresh and you can use caps or you can use lowercase it doesn't matter like your uh, little mouse drifting on me there highlight that hit enter okay now we're actually in that folder so now we can say you know just for lack of being more creative we're just going to put fresh again and then put save and then it'll ask us how we want to compress it. So if you want to save, uh, if you want to save space on the external hard drive, but it takes longer, I always go with high compression because I've got so many friends and families. People save images of their computers that it's not even funny at this point. Um, anyway, go to high, and ask if you want to proceed with it. And you say yep. Yeah. And so now it's making a a bit per bit or byte per byte. Or well, meg per meg, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, sector by sector, uh, copy of everything that's on that hard drive right now and saving it to an image. And if it's trash that's on that image, it's going to save trash. And if it's good stuff that's on it, it's going to save good. It's whatever's there. Um, like I said, you can go onto there and uh, you know get your get everything just the way that you want it. When you got it, when you got it where it's perfect, make an image of that. Uh, make sure to try to save like different documents, burn those to uh, CD, you know, or make you some, you know, get you some backups. Heck, you can leave your, um, you know, hook up your external hard drive and keep you a folder uh, over there onto the hard drive under that particular folder where we were at. Say under Keisha, uh, just says documents or whatever, and then you just go back in there and you copy them over to over to there, and uh, once you get them copied over there you got everything backed up you uh, uh, have them there and then later if you have to pull an image back you just go and you pull the fresh documents back that way you don't have to make a an image all the time uh, but if you do change anything if you add any new hardware or anything like that you do have to go back and um, uh, and, and re-add those drivers anything you make a change on if you didn't make the change on the image you have to go back and make another image of it or prepare to uh, uh, going to do any installations of anything that's software or whatever and that'll take a little bit so I'm going to stop it for a minute uh, it actually takes longer to create this image because it's compressed okay I'm going to log on to our computer real quick and uh, show you how I would uh, back up to that same hard drive where we're saving the images this makes it really easy to keep up with if you've got uh, a lot of different images from a lot of different computers um, help save you a little bit of confusion and being that the, uh, the external USB drive is portable you can uh, move it to the different computers that you need to get it to, to in order to do this you don't have to leave it hooked up to the same so there's no telling what all that she's got on her system and her base image has got a lot of uh, stuff on it. <laughs> okay, here's the external hard drive. Here's where we've been keeping her uh, stuff. Okay, and under her laptop okay and we we just call it a uh, file backup and then that's where I'd started putting some some of her junk in over there but um, open up another another window and let's say we wanted to her documents and settings go to her let's say are my documents right click there go to copy alt tab right click I did right click didn't I? there no right click paste and then that copy your documents over there. So if you've had that image over there for for a while, that that fresh image, uh, that are, nothing's really changed on it. And the computer is still running good, but you just you're you've been getting more pictures and more documents of different types. You just take and, and 